Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Europe Tours 2023. In this episode, we will fly to Sweden and we will visit its capital city, Stockholm. Stockholm is also called capital of Scandinavian. In this episode, we will first visit Royal Palace of Stockholm, which is also official residence of royal family. After that, we will go to the royal food court, which lies middle in the town of Stockholm. There you can find food from different countries and you can enjoy the real Scandinavian food as well. Here we go. On my left side, you can see the royal palace building. Royal Palace of Stockholm is the Swedish royal family's official residence. It was completed in 1754. The building is built in Baroque style and there are 600 rooms on 11 floors. This royal palace also have like three museums which shows the royal history. Now we come inside to the palace, look at the roof. What a wonderful work of art. Amazing. I love it. Really. It's a great work of art. It's beautiful. And so go to the upstairs on the right side. You can find the Royal Armory. There you can see weapons, costumes and ceremonial equipments of from the Swedish royal history this kind of stuff you take you to the past I mean you want to see how it was at that moment it always give a wonderful feeling how people were spending time how they was honored in different times in different occasions it's a great to know about the history really here you can also see vestment of the bishop of the order from about 1783 or probably 1784. Here you can see more Royal Armouries costumes. Costumes shows the categories and ranks of different regiments. After watching the Royal Armory, now we come inside the Hall of State. The Hall of State was completed, I think, and ready for the use in 1755 until 1975. The King opened the Parliament every year with the formal ceremony um, held in the Hall of State. Opening ceremony take places in the Parliament building which is situated very next to the Royal Palace. Here you can see the beautiful silver throne which was gifted to Queen Christina on the occasion of her coronation in 1650.
now we come inside to the royal victoria drying rooms here you can see the great combination of gold red color is amazing it gives a very good look to the eyes if you are a color lover so really you will love that combination really it's a great to see that now we are going to the upstairs for the state apartments look at the ceiling what a wonderful art amazing i can't believe that it's a so wonderful work it's so beautiful really it touched my heart really it's a great to see that in real life well. we reached to the great bed chamber which is a major bed chamber of this guest apartment the rooms are still in function and definitely it's so cozy to be here and sleep here but it's not for me it's for the royal family so i just can imagine Now we come to another hall where you can see the great work of art, the great combination of colors, the interior designing, the paintings on the walls, the chandeliers, everything is unique as you can see around. We will go to the cabinet room. Before that, I want to show you the wonderful ceiling. As you can see, that it's a great work of art here as well. This room is still is used during the cabinet meetings in between the king and the government. This is a white sea hall where the king and queen receive their guests before the banquet and after the meal. Actually, in other words, you can call the drawing room of the Royal Palace of Stockholm. Finally, we reach to the King Hall's Gallery, where four to five official dinners take place every year. They also invite to the Nobel laureates, to the royal families of other countries, After visiting all the beautiful palace, now we are feeling hungry, so we decided to go in the middle of the town, where is a very famous place by the name of King's Hall, and actually it's a food court, and you can find different kind of foods there. On first floor, you can see tacos, Greek restaurant, 
and one Swedish restaurant where you can find Swedish foods and dishes as well. As you go down sir, to the basement, you can see many kind of restaurants like Thai, Chinese, uh, Lebanese and uh, Italian and kebabs, all kind of food you can find here. Prices are reasonable, it's a very neat and clean place and everything is wonderful. I love to eat here whenever I got chance. So you guys never miss the place. It's named King's Holland. And this is a food court in the two floors. And each floor has a different variety. Today me and my family we decided to eat Thai food and its name uh, restaurant name is Pong. It's a chain restaurants in the Stockholm and in all over the Sweden and you, as you can see they have a lot of variety of Malaysian food, Chinese food and Thai food as well. So you can choose as a buffet or you can take a la carte and uh, you can find spicy or which kind of taste you want and they have uh, different menus as well and as I told you prices are very reasonable. So I will strongly recommend it and today we choose from the Pong and I will show you further what I choose. I choose meat and chicken together. My food called uh, Malaysian chicken and um, mixed meat is so very tasty but a little stronger. But as you see other guys they choose uh, another Thai style of chicken but they all look same but uh, it's a very tasty food really I love that guys I hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel and um, stay tuned so see you in the next episode of visiting Stockholm and till then have a nice day bye bye